Okay, we will look now at the core career cushioning and we start with the song. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Actually, career cushioning is when you make a plan B. Uh, this will involve searching for new jobs or actually brushing up on your skill sets so that it then enable you uh, to get a better job when you leave your present job. And there's something very similar to this in scripture. Luke chapter 16, verse 3, then the steward said within himself, he was going to be let go. What shall I do? For my master is taking the stewardship away from me. I cannot dig. I'm ashamed to beg. I've resolved what to do, that when I'm put out of the stewardship, they may receive me to their houses. So he called every one of his master's debtors to him and said to the first, how much do you owe my master? And he said, a hundred measures of oil. So he said to him, take your bill and sit down quickly and write 50. Then he said to another, and how much do you owe? So he said, a hundred measure of wheat. And he said to him, take your bill and write 80. So the master commended this unjust servant because he had dealt shrewdly for the sons of this world are more shrewd in the generation than the sons of light. So you need to really make a plan, particularly if you see that if you can see the handwriting on the wall, people want to get rid of you. You don't have to be kicked out. And then, you know, you're just there stranded. You need to start making a plan for yourself. Uh, and this is actually what this particular uh, servant was doing, particularly now that we have a work environment where there is you know, a lot of precarity in terms of that, in terms of the work environment. And please note that it is the master that commanded your job servant, not the Lord, you know. The Lord was just using this, you know, to show that we need to be very smart in terms of all of our dealings, including in terms of including in terms of employment, you know, any other kind of dealing, you need to be someone that is, you know, being very strategic in terms of your decisions and your choices, you know, so that you know, uh, you can have victory. And we don't need to wait until particular uh, negative things begin to befall us, and then we begin to bemoan our fate. God is telling us that this is inevitable, but if you're 